morning you two, Miss Wilson here. I'm going to be teaching your maths this week. We have been learning about money in maths, so let's see if you can remember how much these coins and notes are worth. Shout at your screen when I hold it up. Here comes the first one, are you ready? Well done, one, ooh, one, one what, one banana? One cookie, one, well done, one pence. We need to remember to say whether it is pence or pounds. Next coin. Two pence, well done. Five pence, well done. One and two pence are the only coins that are bronze. From five pence they become silver. Ten pence, excellent. Twenty pence, well done. Fifty pence, well done. Ooh, these ones are gold. I wonder what that means. One pound, well done. And the last coin that I have. Two pounds, excellent. Ooh, these aren't coins anymore. What is the value of this? Five pounds, well done. Ten pounds, excellent. Last one, you're doing really well. Twenty pounds, well remembered. Give yourself a pat on the back if you remembered some of those notes and coins. Let's see what we're learning about today. So today we are going to use all the things we've learned so far to compare different amounts of money. And today, let's have a look at the date. It's Monday, the 14th of December, which is 11 sleeps until Christmas. So in the past, we have learned how to compare numbers and objects using these symbols, greater than, less than, and equal to. Remember, a good way to remember this is that they look a bit like a crocodile and the crocodile is very hungry and always eats the biggest number, the biggest amount. So when we're looking at money, we'll always eat the most amount of money. And equal to means the same. So there'll be the same amount of money on each side. So it's just like we've learned before, but with money instead of numbers. Ooh, I've got two coins here and I need to work out which symbol to put in the middle. I've got a two pence coin and a one pence coin. And we know two pence is more, it's greater than one pence. So my crocodile is eating the two pence. Inside two pence, there are two of these. So that's another way that we know that it's greater than. Ooh, what have I got here? I've got a one pence and a two pence. That's the same as before, but they're the other way around. So I need to swap my symbol round. So the crocodile is still eating the biggest number. Two pence is greater than one pence. Ooh, now I've got a one pence and what's that other coin? Shout it out. One pound. One pence and one pound. We know that pounds are bigger than pence. And if I've only got one of each, then one pound is greater than one pence. My crocodile, my hungry crocodile is going to eat the one pound. We've got one pound still here and what's over here? Oh, it's the same coin. That means they are equal to. So I don't use my crocodile, I use my equals to sign because one pound is the same as one pound. Now let's see what happens when we have more than one coin on each side. The first thing that you'll need to do is work out how much money is on each side. I'm going to start on this side. And I can see I've got two pence coins. Hmm, do we know how to count in twos? Yes, we do. That's how I'm going to work this out. 
If you can't remember your twos, you could turn them into one pences because we know there are two one p's in a two p. But I'm going to count in twos. Count with me. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten pence. Ten p. Remember the p sign comes after the number. And I crossed them off as I went so I didn't count them more than once. Okay, now let me look at the other side. Oh, they're all two pence again. Let's see what we've got. Let's count in twos. Are you ready? Two, four, six. Six pence. Six P. So now I've got 10P and 6P. Hmm, which one do you think is greater than? Which one is bigger? Well done. If I've got 10P, then I have more money than if I have 6P. If I looked at a number line, the number 10 comes after the number 6. It's bigger than. So 10p is greater than 6p. Ooh, let's have a look. Still got 2p's on this side. We've just done that. We can count in 2's. Let's give it a go. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 10p. It's the same as before. Now let's look over here. How much is this coin worth? One pence. Well done. I've got one, two, three, four. I've got four lots of one, which makes four pence. Which one is greater? Which is bigger? Ten pence or four pence? Well done. Ten pence is bigger than four pence. If I looked at a number line, the number ten would come after the number four. Oh, this side looks the same again, but I'm going to check. I will always check. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten pence. It was the same. I was right. Let's see what's over here. A ten P coin. Just got one to count. Ten. 10p, 10p and 10p, and we can see here that they are the same, so there is an equal sign. So sometimes you will have the same amount of coins on one side. Even though they look different, they are worth the same. So we always check. Oh, now I've got a coin and a note. How much is this coin worth? Shout it out at me. Well done. Let's cross it off because we've counted it. It's worth two pounds. And remember, our pound sign comes before the number, not after. Now let's look on this side. How many pounds have I got here? Got one note, but how much is it worth? Five pounds. Well done. Cross it off so I know I've counted it. Which one is worth more? They're both pounds. So let's look at the number. Two and five. Five pounds is bigger than two pounds. Has Miss Wilson put the right arrow in? No. Well done, those of you that spotted. What a silly mistake. My hungry crocodile wouldn't want just two pounds, would he? He would want five pounds. Great job, everyone. Oh. Got some more money on this side now, and they're different coins. I've got two pound coin and a one pound coin. Remember, when we count coins, we always start with the biggest. I've got two, add one, two, three, three pounds, and I'll cross them off as I go. And on this side, I still have my five pound note. Which one is greater than? Which way is my arrow going to go? Has Miss Wilson done this right? No. Well done for spotting that silly mistake. My crocodile's hungry. He wants to eat five pounds, not three pounds. So now it is your turn. And I hope that you don't make any silly mistakes like Miss Wilson did. So on Google Classrooms, there is a sheet for you to do and you have two jobs. The first one wants to know which side is greater than and the second one wants you to use the symbols. Make sure you really count carefully and you can cross off with your cat with your um, mouse as you go to make sure that you're counting them all.
And if you would like a challenge, if you think, yes, I feel confident and I got those right, then there is also a challenge for you to try after. Let me know how you got on and well done for your first maths lesson. I can't wait to see your work.